The outline of a circle is sketched and then scored diagonally with an angle grinder to create a hole in the tile. A curved piece of wood flooring is cut to fit using a black duct tape template scored with a box cutter. A floor layer uses skewer-like sticks inserted into a piece of cardboard to trace a tricky cut around a door jamb. Holes are drilled in the lid of a 5-gallon floor adhesive bucket for optimal distribution and rollout. Watch this guy effortlessly move heavy concrete slabs using a vacuum pavement lifter with an adjustable arm. The 2x4 with a pencil attached is rotated like a compass to create the perfect circle for a tile cut with an angle grinder. Grout is loaded into a custom-made contraction and attached to a compressor to grout deep grooves into a stone wall. A ruler set at a 90 degree angle is rotated in a counterclockwise fashion up against two screws to create a perfect circle. Pool deck builder uses a quickie scribe to perfectly transcribe a marking line around curved pool coping. After wet plaster is spread over a fake brick template, various sponges and tools are used to create a faux look. Old carpet is shipped away by making incisions and folding it in on itself to create a handle for easy variability. Watch this tile setter custom cut a tile trowel with a multi-tool to perfectly notch out a thin set for tile spacers.
After an adjustable template is used to measure a door hinge, it's held in place with suction and mortises are cut out. After a hole saw drill bit is attached and a dust catch bag adheres to the wall, two perfect holes are made. Chain link fence privacy tape is rapidly fed through each link and then wrapped and fastened with a staple gun. A marker is fastened into a tracing tool that uses a wheel to perfectly ride and trace the contour of a wavy wall cut. After using a bucket to trace out a circular cut, an angle grinder is used to complete the custom putty knife. The end piece of a baseboard is cut at a 45 degree angle and flipped to ensure a tight fit. Black tinted plaster is spread on a wall and then manipulated with a sponge to achieve a faux stucco look. A section of wood flooring is cleanly extracted by making several diagonal cuts with a skill saw. 